Aboriginal culture, maths and, and science are, are very prolific. If When you look at the um, kinship system of Aboriginal families and moieties, it's a very complex formula. So it's a natural progression, we feel, for Aboriginal students to want to explore math, science and the other areas more. So what we're going to do today is, because I can't cut a person up, because that would be inappropriate, <laughs> we're going to cut up a strawberry instead, yeah. because strawberries have DNA as well. So you're going to make um, one solution between a pair. Okay. And so we're putting it in the cup. In the cup. Yeah. So just mixing it into the cup. So today we were doing a workshop with the kids about genetics, so they could learn all about DNA and what DNA does and what it looks like. And I was really hoping that the kids would learn more about DNA and get interested in DNA because as we move into the future, we're moving into a field of personalized medicine and learning more about what genetics means. And it's really important for the kids to know all about DNA, what genes are, what, what it does. I can see it. Talking to the kids about botany, about particularly about traditional knowledge of plants and indigenous knowledge, and that's pretty relevant to the skilled kids being Aboriginal because they would have heard it from their elders and parents. Um, that's to look like a magnifying glass, so it looks closer. These STEM camps are good for Indigenous kids because they get to learn in a different environment. They get to interact with each other and also with the scientists and mathematicians. And they learn that um, they're, they're just people like them. Great value for drones and the cameras like the 360 cameras uh, opens up a new eye on the world and captured things that we haven't seen before. And the great thing about these things is you get above and see angles that we've never seen before, like an eagle, you know, you can really feel like you're an animal out there enjoying the environment and parts of uh, the city as well with the urban stuff. The benefits are that it might inspire our kids to then pursue uh, a craft like filmmaking. Um, and getting out and enjoying nature. So I think there's a whole heap of positives to cameras and drones like this. So what you do, you don't just tighten, because if you look on the CPU, in the bottom corner, there's a little golden triangle. And then if you look at the motherboard... Since running the program and running the STEM camps, we've had anecdotal evidence saying that there are a lot of students now who after the camps are going back to their school and if they're in a situation of secondary school where they can elect a subject, they are electing a STEM subject. The point of the workshops is actually to get students to think about engineering and what role it has in the world. Um, <clears throat> there are so many things that we do every single day that engineers design and build that we don't even think about. So it's about getting students to think about how engineers contribute to the world and what role they have in addressing a lot of really big humanitarian issues like poverty, lack of access to food and water, um, and sanitation, things like that. And what we really emphasize on in our workshops is appropriate technology, designing so that it's suitable for belief systems and culture. So I do fractals with our Indigenous school kids as an extension mathematics activity because I can relate fractals to important Indigenous country. Australia is a very fractal landscape. It's also a very hands-on activity. Each child gets to make their very own fractal which they can take home with them. Fractals is also mathematics that they don't see in schools, neither they or, the or their teachers. So it's something new for them to learn. And I give this birthday card to myself because this thing fascinates me. 
Well, I personally do like mathematics, but I think sometimes teachers struggle to make it fun. So I think for me, it's making it a fun art, like it can even be an art activity, but it, it purely is maths. Alicia Keys. So if you listen to Alicia Keys a lot, the first one there is a mouth. That would be a five. I think it's important to teach this to students because sometimes you might not know what you learn or what the next step is. You might learn something in the classroom but now it's actually starting to put into a bit more context about yeah, how maths can be related to a problem, you're solving something. <laughs> um, what sort of possum is it? Does anyone have a... Ringtail. Perfect, ringtail. So Ringtails live in this area. Well, this one was actually killed by a, a, a cat in um, the backyard of one of our teachers. Bush currants taste like sour grapes. Well, the last one of these is my family totem, and we call it Barnagar in Yuan language. They are looking for frack. Yes, yes, we, we found, found, we, we found, we found, found the fractal. The plant. Yeah. The plant, the ferns. Do you reckon it's dark in here? This will tell us how dark it is. Once we go back to that tell me it's general, this should be a lot of measures. Different things like temperature and humidity. It's saying 76% humidity in here. Now, do you reckon it'll be drier outside where there wasn't any cover? Or it'll be yeah. wetter? Dry. So, me and the ranger, we were um, discussing how to measure humidity um, from the rainforest and the actual like dry area. So um, in the, the dry area we got uh, 25 degrees and then we got um, 19 for the like the wet. Fantastic! Good work guys! Well done, I'm so proud of you. That's great. That's cool. We love the wall! We love the wall! It was inspiring! When we were looking through the telescopes just now, uh, we got two different views. Uh, one view was like a little yellow disc, maybe what you think of when you think of the sun. Uh, that was the surface of the sun, the photosphere. Now we look at the edge of the yellow star wheel. What's on there? Okay. Notice there are some stickers on your laptop. And today that's what we're making, our very own stickers. Oh, yeah. In virtual reality, the students are learning all about communicating and working in a team. Do you see the things underneath it? Yeah. Well, turn them on, press them on. One, two, three. After I opened door three, I found a museum of ancient artifacts. So we've been at the STEM camp for the last few days and it has been a fantastic experience. From a professional point of view, I have learned a lot about my students, what they know, how they engage with other students and even from a personal note I have learned a lot um, just about general knowledge of science, engineering, mathematics. We've done a few STEM camps and, and they keep getting better and better and I guess what I see over the STEM camps is that, that kids are inspired and they're inspired to learn about science and mathematics. So I hear that they go back to school and the fear factor of, of engaging in any science or particularly mathematics classes are, are not there anymore and kids who have attended our camps have gone on to actually grab first place um, at the end of the year in their, in their prize giving nights.